Yo, 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 gang, what's going on, y'all? We here with another episode. I'm K. I'm Chaz. And we are Culture Content, yes, baby. Sir. Tuning in with another episode with a special guest, Emil yo, Cook. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? Yeah. 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 It sounds different, <laughs> don't it? It sounds different out here. We in Yo, here. First and foremost, um, before we get into interviews, you, you see the setup, you see the love. Um, this is all, story. yeah, this is all a meal cook, by the way. We going, t- Yo. you might see us in here moving forward. Yeah, bang, bang. You could drop yeah. that whenever you feel. Oh, yeah, 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 I put yeah, the that, wrong yeah, So we need that. Yeah. That doom. Oh, that school's in session. School's yeah, school's in session. School's in session. I like that bomb and I like that blue one. That the blue one, this one? Yeah. 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 Hey. <laughs> lock in, lock we gonna, in. We're going to go back and forth between those two. But, um, yeah, our special guest, man, Emil Cook, uh, invited us to the studio. So, you know, we had to get on the road for y'all. Um, with his blessings, we here doing what we do. Um, and we here to talk about boot up, building our own technology and uplifting the people. And he definitely uplifted culture content That's for today. Fact. That's a so, we can do that last <laughs> At a certain point, we gonna figure it out. Yeah. All right. Um. So, Emil, man, Yo, we appreciate up? you, man. Thank Word. you for having us in your studio and everything. Um, just open us, tell us about yourself, how you started the business, and then we're just going to roll into it for the people who don't know you yet. Yo, man, I'm an educator. Peace. What up, everybody? Culture content. You know what I mean? Happy and blessed to be here. Um, originally, I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. Yo, I got passionate about education, man. You know what I mean? Growing up, watching Malcolm X documentary, Mm -hmm. movies, um, just, just the times of the nineties, you know what I'm saying? Seeing like the LA riots and just the tension, the Diallo getting yeah, laid out crazy. like that mm-hmm. you know yeah, sean mm-hmm. bell oh, just just being you know what i mean yeah. being being um you know from the hip-hop generation where it was about the bars had content you know that is encouraging us to be better the wu-tang 100%. you know what i mean so yeah. basically education just became a big part of like my hip-hop my mm-hmm. hip-hop experience mm-hmm. seeking knowledge itself um so i just love education um you know, wanted to start a community program that involves technology. Cause like when I was a kid growing up, you know, I wanted to use Photoshop, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? I didn't have access to Photoshop. Yeah, I would have right. been using this 100%. in the nineties or early two thousands, but Facts. I didn't have it. So, you know, now as the culture's grown, you know, I remember it was Fruity Loops back in the day, you know oh, what I mean? Like, Fruity yeah, Loops, that's you crazy. Know? Yeah, that's so it was like, wild. I always wanted access to the ill technology so I could become a creator in the culture, but just, it took me longer because I didn't have access, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? I had right. to go and get my the education, capital the capital. So yeah. we wanted to create a program in the hood that basically could help youngins like get to it faster. It's mm-hmm. 2023 now, so it's sure. really, you really got to know technology. Facts. If you want to be a content creator, streamer, mm-hmm. make beats. So so we, we created Boot Up, building our own technology, uplifting the people. It's a black run tech program. Like we don't want to wait for Google, Amazon, people from Silicon Valley to come in and teach That's us so technology. Mm-hmm. We're gonna we're gonna we're approach gonna tech home. from our from our own perspective. Right. You know so what I mean? Ain't nobody gonna give it to us and nobody uh-huh. ever has. Nobody so ever has we gotta, so take, we gotta it. take it. That's right. a fact. Yeah. Straight up. Straight up. So that's that's what that's what it's all about. That's what the mission's about. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uplifting our people using tech. Cause that's that's a game changer. You know what I mean? If you can tech one's the world. You man. know, if you can increase your productivity, increase your grind, you know, um, you know, increase your outreach, you know, mm-hmm. start start an e commerce platform or you know, get your get your messaging out there, your branding, your mm-hmm. podcast. Like you. you know what I mean? That's how we can actually change the reality for our people. Right, hundred percent. So how did you end up in the technology part? Man, I was always like, I always liked technology. So I went to Morehouse um, class. HBCU. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Dropping bombs. Yeah, drop yeah. 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 right on up. time. We about yeah. to have you on the show permanently. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. So, man, I went to HBCU. I was a computer science major at mm, first. Fire. You know what I mean? So... I really, I, I liked it, like, Prodigy song, YBE, Young Black Entrepreneur, oh, you know what man, I mean? So yeah. I always liked the technology. I just knew it was going to be important. Um, Napster, I had Napster, you know mm. what I mean? I was downloading songs, making my own mixtapes. Yeah, mix that wire, Frostwire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. yeah, I had, <laughs> yeah but I had Napster, the OG yeah. joint, so, the, yeah, first the first one. one. Yeah, yeah. Mm. you know what I mean? And, um, you know, I was making my own little mix CDs, mm. you know, so I was always into tech. And then... um. 
man, that's how I got into the space. You know, I switched my major up to African American studies, so I didn't stay in um, CS. But just the way life worked, when I became a teacher, it was like I needed technology to make my class iller. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I wanted my powerpoints and my slideshows to be the illest. You know what I mean? I wanted to bring in content. From this YouTube video, I wanted to bring in content from from here and there and, and yep. stitch it all together. So that just made me get nice with graphic design, get nice with video editing. Mm -hmm. So just trying to be a dope educator, you know, I had like made CDs with just certain tracks from hip hop that yeah. would be beneficial to young people. So, you know, just always up in my craft, like really brought technology to the forefront. And so that then I was just like education and tech that's just something that's just a direction for me you know what i mean that's you know up. once upon a time like i know everybody's you know we know social media now i ain't gonna like, lie my fault this shit sound good yeah <laughs> <laughs> shout out so, milk cook again yo. so um like we all know like the the social media we use we use facebook we use TikTok, we use instagram but one of the first ones was like sconex and myspace Right, mm. so okay. I, remember, I remember once upon a time, MySpace. Skonex was, right, was crazy. Right, Skonex was crazy. Wait, right? Skull, you could Skonex. Skonex, yeah, nah, 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 I don't know about <laughs> that one. I don't know about <laughs> that one. No, 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 no. Yeah, Skonex was lit though. Skonex like, was lit. Yeah, it had yeah. a little music page. When you go to the page, you yeah. can play your music or whatever. Had a little short run. Yeah, high school. Okay, I remember Black Planet. I remember. Oh, I remember Black Planet too. Black Planet. So these are the old, old social medias, but like MySpace. Right, I remember once upon a time, like Skonex had the like the music part, but MySpace put the music part too. Okay, and mm -hmm. used to put used to have basically had the code and make sure things was the way they're supposed to be, like the coding part. Mm -hmm. And no social media does that anymore. I mean, MySpace was the OG doing that before. Like, why do you think coding is not a normal thing with social media these days? Man, I feel like they just make it easier for the regular person. Like, right. you know, they try to dumb it down. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, mm -hmm. they making everything like double tap, click and hold and drag. Yeah. Everything's just the yeah, user yeah. interface is just simplified. Right, user friendly. You know what I mean? Easy, yeah. So back in the day, you just had to you had to get into the settings. You know what I mean? You had to change a couple lines of code. Yeah. So they right. just make it basically dummy proof. But at the same time, it's like. The people who know how to change those settings got an advantage. So yeah, yeah. at one point, as technology advances, it's good mm -hmm. and it's cool. Like a lot of our youth is using iPhones and, mm -hmm. you know, tablets and Androids and stuff. And it's cool. Like they in that double tap world. Yeah. But you, it's harder to be a content creator in the double tap space. That's like right. you need a real keyboard. You, re, mm -hmm. you need a real desktop. 100%. You need to know how to multitask how to move content around. You yeah. have to understand Switch file structures, yeah. you know, so th those are skill sets that we definitely um, try to emphasize, you yeah. know what I mean? Because imagine if they had to do coding, bro, like they wouldn't do it. Half the TikTok, but, excuse me, half the TikTok people wouldn't even be here but if they had to code and I'm, just to put up a video. I'm thinking, no doubt. Like, I'm thinking like if people was to have those skills over time, it gets perfect, perfected. Yes. You know what I mean? So maybe you, I mean, you're not just doing MySpace videos. Now you doing something a little different. So that knowledge that you have from before can translate to something different. That's all I was more. No, thinking about. no, no. That's yeah. real. But I mean, like, but it makes it more user friendly. Like you said, that makes sense. But the best, the best content creators, they nice with tech. You know what I'm 100%. saying? Like you, the person who's nice on TikTok, they know they got to get that content from TikTok, then to YouTube Shorts, mm -hmm. to other platforms, whether it's X or whatever. Yeah. So they know about export and they know about like. Okay, Rendering what's the resolution? Yeah, how to render <laughs> yeah, and yeah, export yeah. this? What's the resolution that's yeah, that's so workable for for this mm -hmm. platform? For this, yeah. You know what I mean? It like be different from platform to platform. From platform to platform. Yeah, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I got the Same I got concept. the I got the I got the captions from TikTok, so let me copy and paste that over to this yeah. platform that might not add them automatically. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this savvy, like, so it's just really encouraging our people, like, yo. Be the creator, be in control. Like, mm -hmm. don't just be passively, you know, yeah. using these systems and, you know what I mean? Yeah, be original. Yeah, be thorough. Like, exactly. you know what I mean? And you, 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 the one thing you talk about is just like how advanced or how far off they would have been, right? Mm -hmm. I remember this time in our age, probably a little bit, like when mm -hmm. we were first coming out, like IBM's was like the thing, right? Mm -hmm. like you still, it was still like green and black on the screen, basically. Mm -hmm. You just had to figure out maneuver, play snake, and all of that. Um, and I learned that in what like summer camp or something like that, but as time went on, they started taking those classes out of school. Yeah, definitely. Like, did. why do you think that's a 
thing? Like, why well, are they trying to hold it? Well, I back? mean, you know, the school system is is a reflection of American system, which is mm, there go. about inequality, racism. Boom. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we just gonna get straight to it. Like, those are facts. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So so the school system not really gonna liberate you the way that we needed to liberate us. 100%. You know, so the school system is is a political institution. So depending on what the test scores are, you know what I mean? Too many youth ain't passing the regions. Oh, mm-hmm. we going back remedial mode. You know yeah, what I mean? 100%. They don't. They're not gonna be emphasizing the arts. They're not gonna be emphasizing emergent tech. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, how important is it for your kids to know Python, CSS, HTML, JavaScript? If, <laughs> if, if, if kids is not proficient in, in math or whatever, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Or, or spelling in English. So, but the reason they not is not even their fault. You know what I mean? So it's like the school system is holding our youth back in a lot of ways. Kids wake up every morning wanting to learn ill skills, yeah. wanting to become the illest streamer, wanting to become the illest content creator. Right fashion designer you know e-commerce champion sneaker reseller Mm -hmm. they go to school they got to learn some like old school type of knowledge Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying that's probably taught in a way that's not even really relating it to it you know what i mean you know christopher columbus and all that and not even telling the full truth you know you know what i'm saying so like that's that's why my whole thing is like what do you do to keep the kids engaged like why take it out of school because nine times out of ten what's the first thing a kid is going to do when they wake up you're going to check his phone. Check his Grab phone. that They're phone, you check a, a IG, a tweet, a Twitter, even TikTok, all of that. So, And that's all they want to see nowadays, you know? And then as the world is evolving to technology, electric cars and stuff like that, put it back in the schools, man. Like, keep them kids there. You want you you want to do everything that keeps them not interested, <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. you know, in, in the school. Like, that's not going to work. You got to have a balance, right? I get there's time for there's time for play, but there's time to work, too. And if they can figure that out, I think that's a step in the right direction. Word. And it's like, system. yo, we love education. So I want my kids to know how to write a dope essay mm-hmm. and be super mm-hmm. articulate and, and understand dope math concepts and logic. But mm-hmm. at the same time, I want them to be have like real skills in the, in the economy and if you could write a dope essay that's dope but if you can make a dope app too mm-hmm. too many of our youth is like leaving they don't know how to make the dope essay and they definitely don't know how to make an app for real yeah it's, and that's it's so, just unfortunate so i got a question so boot up is a company within another company right yeah, we are nonprofit. Yeah, you know? so talk we to us about that. Too. Yeah, talk yeah. to us about um, how Boot Up got started. Well, necessary, but how did you um, get affiliated with Community Forge? Yeah, and okay. Tell, yeah, tell us about that process. So yeah, well, real quick though, uh, yeah. and then tell us what type of LLC that you have, and then okay, or the like business, that, like yes. the business part of it. Too. Okay, the structure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so um, Boot Up stands for building our own technology, uplifting the people. It's a five hundred one c three. It's a it's, it's a there program right. inside of a five hundred one c three. The larger five hundred one c three is known as Community Forge, mm-hmm. um, based out of Wilkinsburg, PA. So I um, actually ran into. I came to a couple events at Community Forge. So I knew it was a community center. They did like, you know, like public concerts. They did different things in the community. So I had I had um, been to an event, a couple event, like a couple hip hop events out here. Mm-hmm. I ran into um, my homegirl Jaquaya May. Shout out to Jaquaya and um, you know what I mean. What up, Jaquaya? The soul, the soul sister from Pittsburgh, man. She's a dope artist. <laughs> dope teaching artist um but she was moving during the pandemic and so i went to help her out i ran into um one of the founders was helping her as well the founders of community forge is a dude named mike skirpin he's a um, cmu professor so anyways over the course of just moving the sister we just chopped it up a little bit he said oh i'm at cmu i'm a, i'm a, uh, i'm in the cs department the computer science department i told him you know i teach tech to youth i got an ap class i got you know i'm doing this i'm doing that and then he was like yeah let's talk about it because that's something his organization was trying to do more in mm-hmm. okay so you know three three or four months passed he reached back out to me and was like yo i'm serious about that conversation we had um i want to do like a start uh, like a working group meeting mm-hmm. where we just meet and brainstorm about what it would look like to build a dope technology program for the community so i got on these calls it was like you know mike it was me we had um you know some other people from the tech industry that was sitting in on these meetings Mm -hmm. like that work for tech companies like Mm -hmm. 
um, you know, like directors or like high level positions in a couple tech companies based in Pittsburgh. Well, not based in Pittsburgh, but from like so Apple, somebody from Apple was there. I think somebody from Google was part of this. Like they work at Google or work at right. Apple. Yeah. You know, how can we get more youth into jobs that are like at Apple or Google or in the industry? And then we had some parents and some youth. So we got like multiple stakeholders, as they call it, you know, at the table, yeah. kind of brainstorming. And then over like the course of maybe like four to six weeks, we had we had like a working idea of what we was looking to build. And then Mike was like, yo, we, we, we need a director. We need somebody to run it. So he was like, he asked me. And, yeah. Fire. You and know, that's where the story started yeah. being written. I was already I was already teaching in the schools. Mm-hmm. I had been at a school for six years. And, you know, it was like pandemic was going on. It was just... It was just time for a change, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. I was just ready. I was just ready to see, like, all right, let's really build something from scratch and see, like, so you know, you see what we could do. Yeah, no, like, we the bureaucracy, you know what I mean? hundred percent. So I think you mentioned something really important, too, which is just, like, exposing kids. We had a previous guest. Don't I forget his name, bro, and I'm sorry. But nonetheless, um, we just spoke to, spoke about exposing kids earlier to technology, right? Because mm-hmm. what, do, what is all we know, right? It's... Basketball, sports, Dr. athletes, Dr. J. There we go. My bad, Dr. J. She's love is love. Yeah. Um, so we, we spoke about like how he, because he's also in the tech industry or whatever, but he, we were like, how did you even get exposed to that? Mm-hmm. You know, and he, he mentioned that it started off early for him, you know, and the same thing that this program is doing um, for the young adults now coming up. Did you get that kind of exposure when you were a young kid? And like, what? Did you go to school? Was it a camp, some program? Like, what was it? Yo, I think it was like um, what you said, just growing up in the 90s, like watching them old IBMs, like <laughs> in my community center at the library, like we yeah. had them old IBMs. Fortunately for me, like my parents was also interested in tech too. So like mm-hmm. my mother and them, they had um, like a desktop publishing computer where you could like type out your work and print it. Mm-hmm. And then like my pops had like a, four, a 386 or a 486. You know what I mean with DOS, and and then then that evolved into like Windows 3.1. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, and then I could play like Math Blaster or yeah. Sticky Bear or something yeah, on the Doom. computer. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, Doom and different. You know, so like my family wasn't really gonna buy us like Nintendo and Genesis and all that. Like yeah. they was more like, hey, these little freeware games with math on it or something, mm-hmm. typing skills. Here, you can play that. So. That was like my first little video game system. Mm-hmm. So that was always interesting me. Then they had it in my community, like different the library, they would have a little computer lab. And then my school had a little computer lab. So I was, you know, learning how to like put the floppy disk in. We had the mm-hmm. big floppy disk. Big, was, say that it wasn't the floppy disk. joints, yeah. not the yeah. small square ones, yeah. the walkie The joints. ones that like you could slap somebody. Like, like, a, a, church. <laughs> like, a, like church a church fan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, man, just, just watching, like the the, watching the tech evolve, you know what I mean? And so that always just intrigued me, you know what I'm saying? And um, just, just getting in at a young age. And then I went to a program. I got the footage, too. Um, when I was like, 17, 18, probably like a junior in high school, I went to this program called Tech Exchange in Boston, in Roxbury. And, um, Boston. Yeah, and basically, <laughs> like, it it taught me how to, like, um, build, and dis- build and take apart a computer from scratch. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. then, like, I did that program. So, so you I can s- build a computer? Don't just breeze yeah. over that too quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. That's not easy, I, I built, bro. I built yeah, hundreds not. of computers, yeah. Dang, I, yeah. Think I, don't, I need a computer that just does video. That's it. Yeah, bro. I don't bro. Want to do nothing I mean, else. That's <laughs> the thing is you can spec it out, and yeah. you can actually, that's you can build it to the exact specifications if you want if you want 128 gigabytes of RAM, mm-hmm. you can do that. You know what I mean? Right. If you want, if you want whatever right. you want in it, what kind of GPU you want, what kind of uh, you know solid state hard drive that you want, you know, mm-hmm. and all, all these things. I say it, and it sounds like geeky, but like yo, this you is like your car. Stuff. It's yeah. like yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. It's like if you're trying to create content and you you need a fast PC, like right. it's gonna lower your frustration. Exactly. It's going to make the process smoother <laughs> so you can and have more time to be creative. Yeah. Like, you know, like, and it's crazy. It's like having a car without oil. You know how to do your oil, right? Like, it's the same difference, right? And I want to ask you, too, just for the the non-geeks out there, mm-hmm. as you refer to, like, the difference between RAM and gigabytes, like, hard storage, right? Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's really two different things. And 
people always wondering. My bad, bro. I know you had a question. No, that's more the um, well. I was on. I can kind of answer it because I was a little. Well, I'm a, I want him to answer. Yeah, I want the know, okay. Just a quick little like, what's the difference between the RAM and then the uh, the actual storage for? The computer? So you got two types of storage. Um, um, your RAM is like your quick storage, and your mm-hmm. your your larger storage on your phone like that is usually a higher amount of gigabytes. Is right. your is your is your actual physical storage? Mm-hmm. So that means like. If you turn your device off, that information is still stored on the right. RAM, and I think is is what they call volatile memory. Like it doesn't store that long. But right. basically, like short term memory. Short term yeah, memory. Exactly I like to use the example like your regular storage is like your filing cabinet. It's like your closet space. Right. Like yeah. so, you know you got you save some stuff. You you know you're gonna keep it. So you put it in your attic. You put it in your filing cabinet. It's good. Like, mm-hmm. but. Your your RAM is like your your tabletop. Mm-hmm. It's right in front of you. So basically, if I'm working on, I'm I'm drinking, I'm drinking some water. I got my phone. I got a com- keyboard. I, I I got certain things in front of me. Those are my apps. So I, like the more RAM you got, the more table space you can have right in front of you. So you can do more things at the same time in front of right. you. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you, the higher your RAM is. So basically, the more you can multitask Correct. easily. Right. Correct. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So when those people have a thousand windows open and then want to run Final Cut, <laughs> you, you need to have crazy. some yeah. more yeah. rant. Yo, that's me. That's <laughs> me. You're going to be start glitching. I think you got the right stuff. I'm the king. I need a new computer. <laughs> Yo, I'm the king of the tabs, man. Yeah. You know? <laughs> people be getting scared when they turn on my computer. They see, like, I be having, like, literally, like, Two, three hundred tabs uh, open, yeah, yo. and you know exactly where everything is at, too. Straight up, straight <laughs> like, yeah, up. I worked on this three days ago I for real. I used to have to do that myself. It's the headache, though. Headache. Um, you guys, um, no, what I was gonna say was like, I piggyback on like building the computer, like, mm-hmm. and I said this in that episode we had with Dr. J. Um, it was a program I was in when I was uh in seventh grade, and we was basically building computers, you know, through this program. And um, I'm not sure how they got the funding, but Literally before the end of the year, the funding was cut off. You know what I'm saying, and like <clears throat> stuff like that, like a, a program like this and programs like that. What I was in before needs to be more relevant in our communities. Like the first computer I built at that time was probably as big as this, uh, big as this table. Nip. You That's know what I'm saying? The, the PC was like this big, yo, joint like 50, 60 pounds. Yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The yeah. monitor crazy. <laughs> like I remember that. You know what I mean? And they taught us how to load stuff and whatnot. And mm-hmm. you know, um, we had to use the. Um, I think at that time it was like a. I want to say they used like Windows 2000 mm-hmm. at the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, we had to load that on there as the operating system. And you know, we just had the the opportunity to just. Make it how we wanted to make, and like that was the first one, the first experiences I personally had of having my input on with a computer. You know, I remember before, like my uncle, he worked for IBM for years, and um, he gave us our first computer. That was Windows ninety five, and like all them games y'all was saying, he had that on there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We had the floppy disk with all like he had a stack of floppy disks. Like he'll load stuff, and we had to write it on and, and stuff like that. And if y'all don't know, floppy disk was like you know, the first flash drives, yep. you know what I'm saying? So um, people don't know that, you know, if you see a floppy disk now, people are like, well, what is this? You know what I'm saying? They don't think it's a Frisbee or something, but, <laughs> you know, like stuff like that got me, had me interested, you know what I mean? Like, and, you know, obviously I'm in education too, but like if I would have stood with that, you know what I mean? I would I, I mean, I still have the same hunger and stuff like that to do stuff, but tech is different, man. Tech is different. Mm-hmm. I love, I mean, I love what you're doing for the kids as well. So yeah, and it's like it's like a, about not being intimidated. So mm-hmm. you have that experience of building a, a PC at a young age. You're yeah. less intimidated by the technology. You feel like, oh, yeah. I could do it. You know what I mean? I just pulled up this picture too. Um, rest in peace to um, brother Ermius Ashkadam um, Nipsey it's Hussle. Yeah. You know what I mean? But R. like R. during his eulogy, his brother Black Sam told this ill story about um, Nipsey really like becoming a leader in the family because he learned how to build a PC mm. and was bringing home all these spare parts from school yeah. and like actually learned how to they like bu- p- mm. build a PC and then from that same PC he he built in this recording equipment the mm. recording software and was 100%. like recording so it's like and it showed his brother and showed the family like yo he's serious like mm-hmm. he can yeah. do some ill stuff so it's like that PC could change the trajectory of your life. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and then it's like in hip hop, we don't often think about, 
we hear the records in the club and we see the culture moving, but we don't think like, dang, like, yo, take Keith, Metro Boomin, like, you know, I don't know, the Dungeon Family, who, whatever producer, Dr. Dre, like mm. Kanye, like these dudes are sick with PCs, yeah, Hip right. Boy, like, mm -hmm. you know, Just Blaze. I'm sure you get them Swiss on the, them. you know what I mean? Well, yeah. It's like, it starts a lot with technology, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And it's like, we look at their accomplishments but we don't always see the backstory. backstory. The, the story, the you know what I mean? Sparked their interest to even start making beats. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Knowing what to do, knowing how to place things. And even with K, like K is nasty with the videos. Like mm -hmm. you know what I'm, I'm saying? Right. Like, nah, 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 nah. My so, man's so nice. Man. He's <laughs> nice with it. He's nice with it. He's nice with it. Yo, he, the lenses yeah, and equipment he got up here, man. <laughs> Serious. Nah, we just Serious. Had this tag team duo was crazy to the angle. I'm like a little kid in like a <laughs> park right now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm but like geeky. everybody, but it's crazy like how everybody, like that one thing sparks your interest to take you to where you at. You know what I mean? I remember like, and I'm a, we're gonna go into the next thing, but I remember. When oh, we, I'm gonna talk about Nipsey. They used to, uh, <laughs> America Online used to send them CDs to houses. You get yeah. 500 free hours of whatever. And my family thought I was like Bill Gates. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I used to pop it in, but the thing, pause. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to put that live, that live, that live. Yeah, <laughs> that 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> got him, got him. But look, so um, you have to take out the phone jack and put it into the computer in order for it to work properly. So, like, my mom used to get, you know, used to get pissed off sometimes because she waiting for a phone call. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm over here doing whatever. And, um, you know, it was just funny at the time. So yeah, she pick up crazy. the phone and hear the internet screeching. Right. Like, yo. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, yeah, right, right. Get off the internet. Oh, all right, all right, all right. So. That's hilarious. Um, so I don't know if you know, Nipsey Hussle was like one of my favorite idols. Like I even got a picture of him and Kobe in my basement and everything. Mm -hmm. Like I would have more pictures, but I needed to be the right pictures by the right <coughs> person. But that's a whole nother situation. Mm -hmm. Um and you, you basically talked about how Nipsey was an innovator from a young age. Yeah. Um, and we briefly had a discussion before we started the show um, just talking about how what he did with his clothing brand um, and how he was just innovative, right? He had he could scan his, his, his uh, clothing, a piece of his clothing, and see, like, an exclusive video. Can, can you talk to how you've taken some of that from Nipsey and applied it to boot up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I, I felt like Nipsey was definitely a very big inspiration to a lot of what's going on with boot up, and you know he was just like at the forefront of the culture and a pioneer in the culture. So mm -hmm. it's only right that we basically we was I was already in alignment with what the brother was doing when he was here. 100%. You know what I mean? So I feel like there's a lot of like congruency with the work that he was doing. He started Vector 90, which is like a community space, which was like a studio and a learning mm -hmm. center for, for the kids, yeah, yeah for the youth, mm -hmm. which is basically what Boot Up is. Facts. Um, but with his um, Marathon Clothing Store, it was like the first smart store ever, right. and like he had his merchandise tagged with augmented reality, so it was an integration with. You could scan the products and like you said, exclusive content will come up. So we have some, uh, like we have a community mural in our space and we have some other like augmented reality experiences where like if you go to this mural and, and our thing is we really teach in the community and youth like how to leverage augmented reality and you grab your phone and you open up and scan this QR code. We got it so certain video content will pop up on Fire. the wall in specific locations, Fire. you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, you know. So yeah, we trying to we trying to like take it to the next level, you know what I mean? Cuz that that's the future, you know, Apple's coming out with the ProVision headset. Mm -hmm. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, next year Meta just came out with the Quest 3. Yeah, right, so right. basically, if you don't know how to design and create 3D immersive experiences, augmented reality experiences, like you're gonna be behind the eight ball too. So it's also staying up on the on the next generation. And it's kinda like that's already what hip hop is. Like you got your track, you got your bars, it's mm -hmm. encoded, right? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. When if I take a ill freestyle or somebody's bars, it's like that's coded. You know what right, I mean? 100%. The question is can you de decode it? Can you right. understand it? Facts. You see that mural mm -hmm. is meaning to it. Can you decode it? But now we can actually give you like 
that Kodak. We can give you that Rosetta Stone. We can give you that breakdown to help you translate it. Or there's hidden meaning in it that we can like help you unpack using augmented reality. So, Fire. you know what I mean? But but Nipsey was already on it though, man. Yeah, that, that brother was. Out of his time, man, yeah, that sure. brother was on it, man. Time. Going too soon, man. Well, for sure, R.I.P. Nip. So, Fire. what's the next innovative part that you think you would want to do? Like. I don't know if uh, you don't want to. If you don't want to answer it, that's fine. You know, and I don't want nobody trying to steal your ideas or anything. You know, but like yeah, when you talk about the, for real, like that's a fact. Yeah. Um, but like, what's the next big idea, or you think the transition is going to be towards? Um, I mean, if, I'm gonna say right now it's definitely AI. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it's not just AI. And you know, when I would say AI back in the day, that I meant my man AI I, Allen I, Iverson. You know, the what braids, I mean? you already the know. Tattoos, you know. <laughs> so salute to AI. You been talking about some of my heroes, but yeah, yeah. Um, AI, augmented. I mean, and uh, artificial intelligence. I feel like AI is just a game changer. You know what I mean? So if you haven't got familiar with it, start experimenting with Chat GPT mm -hmm. and some of these models. I and see how you can get information from it. How it could assist your workflow, but. I mean, I think like it's basically leveraging AI. Like mm -hmm. AI can make a website for you, like or can send, it can shoot you code. Like it mm -hmm. can help you achieve your goals faster. Mm -hmm. So it's like when if I was building a brand two years ago or one year ago, I would have to really generate a lot of the content by myself, Dolly. Right. You know what I mean? Or with whatever whoever's my business partner. Now you can use Chat GPT. You right. can use AI to basically create a movie. Create you know what I mean? <laughs> create a movie. Yo, like, yeah, help me with this treatment. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Or if, if if it's like I need to make this content for my blog, what should go in my about us? What should go in my mm -hmm. my write up? You know, it just can help you generate content. So the whack parts or the parts that you don't enjoy as much about building a brand or creative part, it can assist you with that. Nice. And then like certain technical things it can help you with you know what i mean so it's like if you're struggling with your website and and adjusting the css to get it to look a certain way or you know what i mean i mean it can build apps for you i mean like there's tutorials online you can watch people are using it to build apps and right. stuff so it's like basically it's just it's it's changing the, the um the amount of power that we have access to so i feel like ai is a game changer and the real key though is not just using the tool it's like knowing how to use it so mm -hmm. that's what we want to like build community around here at boot up you know what i mean because that's really what it's about like technology is the gap mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like yo what you gonna like if you just got a gun but you're not it's not doing nothing it's just sitting you don't know there. how to aim you don't know how to aim you don't know how to use it correctly mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying or somebody's gonna use that gap and rob some old lady mm -hmm. or somebody's yeah. gonna use that same guy and, and hit the brinks truck you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. so it's like we want to be intentional with these tools that we got like you know what i mean and like like in higher learning like we coming yeah. for we coming for the we coming the for the yeah That's it. It's we the coming takeover, for the bro. big the, the brinks yeah open that joint. Yeah. yeah chat gbt is a cheat code Definitely. for sure but like you said it's not it's not a cheat code if you're utilizing it for the right purpose, things. the right things, you know. Yeah, but it's even to the point where it can you can make those comments because I've I've done some storyboards or trying mm -hmm. to outline some storyboards for myself. But like you can literally put in exactly what you have in your brain, you know what I mean? Type it in, see what it comes out with, and if you don't like it, you can respond back to it and say, make this shorter, make this longer, mm -hmm. or make it more suspenseful, Word. make it more dramatic whatever the case is and then it literally rewrites it and does it again like and the the story wasn't that bad i obviously tweaked a couple i would have read through it tweak i would have tweaked a couple parts but i saved it you mm -hmm. know what i mean like maybe this will help me with the next idea that i'm about to do or like some more b-roll ideas because i feel like i suck at b-roll but then it gave me things to do while doing b-roll so i'm like uh, it's, and it's simple, right? It took me seconds to get it, and I've been doing it ever since. So, utilize that AI, utilize Chat GBT, man. It's it's good stuff out but, there. But but that's like I'm gonna give you a shout out. For, it's it's like not being scared. It's like because some people will mm -hmm. feel like, oh, I'm cheating, or like I'm not a real creative if I'm using these tools. Like, yo, forget that. Like, mm -hmm. you gotta like we be our own worst enemy. You right. know what I mean? That's our own fact. psychologies. Like, or some people. You know, this is what I fight against. It's like, oh, I'm not good at computers. I'm not good at tech, or so, you know. Especially, you already lost. You already lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You already lost. And our competition, like, 
trust me, it's some little 13 year old kid, 12 year old kid. Doing who, numbers. You right. know, f- trying to figure it all out. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like, we just got to be that same type of curiosity and trying to figure it out. So salute to you for using it. And then it's Appreciate like, you, bro. It's, it, it is that back and forth with the AI. The AI is not the whole answer. We the answer. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We're the illest tech in the universe, the human being, us, our right. character, who we are. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's like we we still not giving it all to the AI. The AI is just a tool. It's right. just a tool. But you got to think about it. I had to give my ideas to it, right, mm-hmm. to actually format it. So it is not like it created it for me. I mm-hmm. had the idea. I just told it to perfect it for me. And it's a back and forth. And yeah, yeah. and then that's like a whole emerging field, like mm-hmm. called prompt engineering. Mm-hmm. So it's like the future people is like worry AI is gonna take jobs, but it's actually like it's prom- it's gonna take jobs. But there's going to be new jobs, like prompt mm-hmm. engineers. Like, who who knows how to leverage the AI to make ill stuff? Or who, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, because everybody mm-hmm. got something in their head, but the AI is not going to always help it come out perfect. So you have to go back and forth. Right, right. Which Tweak AI it. tool is right for this? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Chat GPT is good for some stuff. Dolly's good for some stuff. Mid Journey's good for some stuff. You know what I mean? Like, they got different ones that's good for different things. 100%. You know? Um, and back to when you were like cheating and then like you think people are like getting a pass. It's not. It's just that sometimes people overcomplicate life in general mm-hmm. and they want to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to reinvent the wheel to be successful. Like mm-hmm. the wheel has been reinvented a couple times, but nothing is better than the original version, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like So at the same time, when you think about the wheel, when you think about music, when you think about movies, a lot of these movies are remade from yep. something else. So it's the same, same concept. concept. <laughs> just different field. On, well, that still has technology in that field, but you know what I mean. Like It's just the same concept of taking old information and then just rebranding it, making new, making it yours, you know? So um, take with that, you know, take that with that information, do what you want with it. Um, and we're innovators, man. Hip hop culture, man. We innovate. We you know what I mean? Words. So everything. What see what we gonna do with AI is gonna be ill. You know what I mean? See, mm-hmm. Seeing what we gonna do with it is gonna be like dope to see how we. I'm sure somebody's gonna be like a one person. Uh-huh. They gonna be running like a whole enterprise. You know what I mean? Facts. Like that's real. Yeah, you because know, we creative with it, man. Mm-hmm. What are some of the things you do to keep your technology skills current? Because like it's. Everything's emerging. Everything's different. Yeah, we, we went we went through stuff from the '80s to like now. So how do you able to stay ahead of the curve? I mean, I think I'm like I try to pay attention to you know things that interest me. Like you know, so I'm gonna be honest. Like some of the AI stuff did like get me like a little bit frustrated when it first started coming out because it's like yo, this stuff is evolving fast. Like you know what I mean? Like I ain't ready to be learning all this AI and yeah. jumping on this, but it's like. I had if to you, just if you get on a train or you gonna get left behind. Yeah, like exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's like, mm-hmm. all right, you know, let me get let me get with it. So I watch a lot of tutorials, you know what I mean? I probably spend like like right now I wanna tighten up my after effects skills. You know what I mean? Motion graphics, stuff like that. Um, so you know, I try to spend fifteen to twenty minutes a day like either practicing or using um just practicing or doing tutorials, mm-hmm. having little projects that I'm working on. Mm-hmm. So I mean I feel like that's the best way to get better is just like actually practicing like yeah. you know so coding like i learn i learn every day i'm trying to learn something new you know what i mean That's so true. i do a little coding you know a couple times a week mm-hmm. you know what i mean like i I'll, I'll experiment with different software programs or apps so i'm always learning something so whether, whether it's like okay i got to learn everything enough that i can meet a youth or meet a young adult mm-hmm. and like get them interested in it you know what i mean so 100%. if i got somebody who's coming in trying to make beats and they want to learn fl studio mm-hmm. i gotta know at least how to get you know what i mean the, the session started mm-hmm. you know show them how to like get the drums right add in sounds you know what i mean do some sample chopping you know same thing ableton same thing after effects or mm-hmm. premiere or final cut so it's like i gotta learn a lot mm-hmm. so but it, but it helps and you know we always talk about things to bridge the gap between us and the youth right? mm-hmm. because they don't really care about a lot of stuff right mm-hmm. but the moment you find that piece which is technology the recording videos and everything you got to capitalize it on it you know Facts. you got to be able to make sure you keep them because ultimately like we don't want them on the streets and doing other things that's not proactive to where they trying to go 
Um, so it's, I think that's a really significant part you play. Like you have to know these things if you want to be relatable to these young adults, mm -hmm. right? And that's hard enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, so right. we appreciate your skill set for just doing that because the knowledge is one thing, but you also have a personality too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just like, just because you know something or just have these resources, if you're not cool, then to these kids, it's like, yeah. I don't want to mess with this. Because first of all, they think everybody old. Yeah, they, you know that's the saying? first that's thing they one, do. So. You, you know, 1900s is the ancient times sure. and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's what they say, bro. It's not me. I like I was born in the 90s, so I would be coming at myself. So, I mean, that's not what I believe, but you know, right. sometimes I I'd be mad. Like, bro, 90s and 80s is the best times for real. Like, I missed yeah. all of that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mindset. It's a mindset. They'll, mm -hmm. they'll, they, they, uh, the youth is amazing, though. You know what I mean? Absolutely, like, absolutely. And and it's like we we cool elders. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. So we get we get with the youth, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, so, right. but yeah, nah, man, I love learning stuff and, and, and staying inspired, you know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. basically it. And the youth inspire me, bro. They're always teaching me no, new stuff. Like, right. they be right. on new tools, like, oh, I'm using CapCut. I'm doing animation with Flip a Clip or, right, you know, right, I'm right. doing this and this. And it's like, oh, word, like, okay, show me, show yeah, me show how you're doing you, that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, it's all this off the phone too. that I yep. said they pick up first thing in the morning. Yep. Like, yep. that's how you keep it. Yeah, so it's like, I want them to use a desktop. They want to use their, their tablet or phone. And it's like, all right, well, is that, it is a medium though. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, like, really, like, I'm a Photoshop dude. But I've been learning Procreate the last 18 months, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? And that's, that program's fire. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. then the youth is like, oh, you see Procreate's coming out with a new program called Procreate Dreams that yeah. do animation. I'm like, oh, word. Like, all right, now I'm hip. Right, right, you know right. what I mean? So it's like, I'm learning. I'm learning with them. You know what I'm right. saying? But like you, I mean, the continued education goes, you expose them to the program. Mm -hmm. They went and did their own research right. on it mm -hmm. and brought you back some additional uh -huh. information. That's a win-win right there. Exactly. That, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's and that's what win. it's all about. And they low-key challenging you like, yo, you heard about this? Right, right, mm -hmm. right. And you ain't up to speed and ah, we left them. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's what's yeah, up. Yeah. And then it's like, I look at what they do and it's like, yo, I can't even draw like that. Like, that's mm -hmm. fire. And then mm -hmm. it's like, oh, let me see your layers. And then I'm looking at their layers and their document and it's like, oh, they didn't mm. even know they could do this and do this. So then it's like I could show them a couple other tips that even though they're nice at it already, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. there's like a couple little things they could tweak that could like they could duplicate. Make it crazy. They yeah. can make it make it illa. You know what I mean? Like mm. keep your line work separate from your color work. That way if you mm. change something, you don't gotta re erase your lines. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. certain things that then it's like cause they never use certain features in a program. Mm -hmm. So it's like it's transferable skills and that's one of the dope things about tech, you know what I mean? Going back is like all the skills like using DOS or like typing in a command prompt to mm -hmm. start something or like learning that that little coding from MySpace. Like all that you, you bring all that with you and it transfers from one program to another. It's like yeah. if I'm learning Pro Tools, I could take that with me to Ableton take that with me to FL. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm making a website on MySpace, I could take that with me to WordPress. I could take mm -hmm. that with me to Shopify. Like, all these concepts and stuff like that, like, they have value, you know what I mean? Yeah, definitely do. Now, I got a question. So you run a lot of different classes. Well, you got, you, got uh, you know, you run it with the schools. You got elementary, middle, high school, all that good stuff. Yep. What is, what, which, what you think is like the hardest one, um, which set, group set um, is the hardest to have buy-in from? Or, or are they all easy to work with? Um, they all like they all got their own unique things. Um, I mean, the hardest one to get buy in, I would say that for real, for real, is usually high school. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they think they already they kind of like adults and they already all yeah like high school just. I mean, it's good. Like I like working with high school students. Right. It's just like their mind might their their life is in different places, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? They're in transition to definitely, adulthood. Definitely so it's like mode, yeah. you know, like some youth they got jobs. So mm -hmm. it's like it's hard for them to be like, I might want to come to boot up and, and build with y'all, but it's like I gotta make this money. money like yeah. I gotta work. Yeah. Or it's like then it's like even if I don't got a job or I got free time, it's like I want my free time. Yeah, I wanna yeah. go through You know what else, I mean? Yeah. And it's always like that urgency or they kinda like already on a path you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. Um, or trying to figure it out or trying to know? figure it out mm. so it's harder to find like some it's less frequency that we meet like a high school kid that's just like yo every friday i'm here like mm -hmm. boom like that's it i'm locking yeah. in this is what i need a hundred percent you know what i mean we mm -hmm. get them 
Yeah, you know you what I mean? We get them usually, but we actually get them like 19, 20, 21 mm -hmm. more like that. You know what I mean? Like they got a little you, experience. Yeah, by yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Outside of school, got a glimpse of the real world. And you're like, oh, well, I, I need, need to I learn. Need I need to do something. Yeah. Yep. To, and what's going to keep me interested? The studio. Yeah. But imagine how they've been doing that for the three or four years and that mm -hmm. gap time where they could have been, you know, I'm a, I'm a firm believer on time, man. Time is the time is only everything. thing we got. That's mm -hmm. ours. So how you spend it is going to project how you live the next 10 years of your life. So always keep that in mind. I always say it to any young adult I meet, like, what you do now in your 20s is what's going to happen in your 30s mm -hmm. and so forth. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, so, so I mean, but it, that's why when to work with you, it's so much, you, you want to reach every high schooler. You want to reach every middle, middle schooler. Yeah. So it's so critical. No so I want to reach them all. So it's like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to, I'm going to keep trying. You know what I mean? And it's like, I know it's so critical because it's like, you at that age, like, if you don't start, like, yo, slow down. Like, mm -hmm. get these digital skills. Like, yo, even just teaching our youth, like, yo, you can spin up a, a Shopify store and do some serious numbers right. if mm -hmm. you, like, focus. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? If you, like, actually believe in yourself or you, you don't even got to have the product. You could drop ship it. You know what I mean? Or right, that too. Or you can, like, find a little... You can make your own tees. You yeah, can make you can. your own t-shirts. You, I mean, like yeah. you can start your own brand. Like whatever it is, there's a hustle, and it's just like getting that. Like I feel like sometimes we don't believe we can actually do it. You know what I mean? Yo, oh, if you had a, if you got a thousand dollars in sales in a month, oh, you'll believe. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like until you feel your phone vibrating with that cash register sound. Mm -hmm. It's a that little bit, dropping, you yes, know what man. I mean. But <laughs> so it's like you know, cause I got young bulls that some some get they get in trouble. You know what I mean. It's like there's there's guns out here. You know what I mean. It's yeah, easier it's, to get a gat than it is to get a computer. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. Yeah, I think too. Like they don't see the money sign behind it's not this right knowledge. Yeah. You know what I mean. Or this, you have access to all of this. I matter if I had access, I, I can only imagine where I would have been. But nonetheless, like. Um, if there's no immediate like, oh, I can make a hundred thousand off of this or two hundred thousand, they're not interested. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, like nothing in life comes that easy. For like, real. No matter what you do, you a driver, you a manager, you you being in the studio, you went to college, graduated, you know, all of that stuff. Like everything comes with work. Mm -hmm. There's no quick leak, uh, illegal way to the bag, bro. Like facts. Facts. Nothing is a snap of a finger. So um, the time you put in with anything is what the results is you're going to get. So, you know, you're doing that T-shirt business, you put in 80 hours a week. It, yeah, that's double. <laughs> that's double the work week. Yes. If you put that time in, I grant it, and you just grinded and did that for six months, I bet you you have a network or you be on a platform or connected with somebody mm -hmm. that can catapult you to the next level. But again, the time and the commitment, man. That's what it comes down Word to. Word up. Is you really committed? Do you how bad do you want it? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you know, that motivation piece, that's one of the most important parts of education is like, you know what I mean? Like, are you are you motivated? And mm -hmm. even shout to Nipsey's like the marathon. It's like mm -hmm. it's a marathon. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's like sprint. Where mm -hmm. can you keep going? Like it's gonna be pain, little bit of pain every step of the way. But right. it's like, can you keep going? Do you quit? What's gonna make you quit? Yeah. So and success is on yeah. that other side of that day you're trying to quit. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want to quit today, you wake up in the morning, you still keep going. Mm -hmm. That's how you how you make it happen. Um, so back to boot up real quick. Mm -hmm. What are some of the success stories you hear from the kids after they leave this program? Like, what do they say they want to do? Or they say, oh, you helped me with this. Like, tell us a couple stories and that may help you, you know? Man, I just like, okay, some of the stories, like, I mean, I got youth that's coming through here, benefiting, like, locking in. So we got, like, my man Savion, he, he started coming through. Um, he brought his whole team. They got a lifestyle brand, Local Life. They mm -hmm. come in and they record their podcast here. They they film their um, advertisement and marketing. They got, like, a whole creative team mm -hmm. around their Fire. brand. So they really been leveraging everything we're doing. So I know it's making a big difference for them. Mm -hmm. You know, even just getting some youngins, like, out the, out the way. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like I got youngins that, you know, even if they got into trouble, they came to boot up, maybe went, got into trouble. Mm -hmm. They'll come back like, yo, Mr. Mill, like, Mr. Boot up, like, yo, appreciate everything you're doing. Sure. 
You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like they they on a path to good decisions and mm-hmm. to, to right. better in their life. Um, you know, some youth is they like more motivated. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I feel like we just build in the community. It's like, yo, they know they can slide through mm-hmm. if they got a, a question around a tech solution or product they're looking for a job in tech or mm-hmm. a creative job they know they can reach out to me um so i mean those are some of the success stories i mean i feel like there's more to there's more of coming course. there's of more course. coming of um course. i mean but just seeing what they create you know what mm-hmm. i mean like seeing what they create seeing their passion seeing like their dreams you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i got youth that's building PCs like youth that never built a PC that now they're building PCs or mm-hmm. youth that is like they want to level up their skills they they coming in like yo I'm trying to learn this I'm trying to learn that just their motivation just increasing that's mm-hmm. to me is like success story like mm-hmm. you know what I mean and it's still early in the game you know just right. because like we was talking about earlier earlier exposure mm-hmm. you know just because you may not have a success success story now doesn't mean you won't hear one 10 years from now you right. know what i mean because they're always going to think like oh this started with a male cook facts <laughs> yeah and, <laughs> and it's, i'm not really in it for that either you know what i mean i'm real i'm more like i don't even want it's like a farmer you know i'm just doing my work i'm not really like i'm planting my seeds, seeds i'm right, you know what i mean like i'm i'm um doing your part watering the earth you know what i mean and yeah. it's like if I do my, if I do what I'm supposed to do, stuff is gonna happen. It's gonna right? happen. That part is not on me. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But like, even to your point, if you're not doing it for the limelight, you're mm-hmm. doing it because you genuinely want to help people. Mm-hmm. And I think about some of the people that helped me get into the position that I'm in now today, and I'm pretty sure they didn't do it purposely, or they didn't, well, they did it purposely, but they didn't have any like they didn't want any kickback from it. Mm-hmm. Like it was just like, yo, I'm a genuine person. I saw something about you. I wanted to help you. And this is that's why I did it, and that's exactly who you are, and that's what I meant by mm-hmm. the success stories from ten years from mm-hmm. now. Not, and that, mm-hmm. not that you wanted credit, but when we always got that one person that thing, I could have messed this whole package up, but mm-hmm. this one person got me back in the right direction, and I think that person is you for a lot of for a lot of people. Yeah, no, nah, I could think of one person in particular. Like I had this one youth. Like I was at another. Sc- I was at this before I started at Boot Up because Boot Up's only two years old, but like. He, his mom called me. She was kind of, like, upset. She's like, yo, you know, my son, he wants to, um, he he loves your class. Da, 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 da. He's, he don't want to go to college, Mr. Cook. And it's like, she basically said, I invested in his education. I've been mm-hmm. on him about it. And she was really hurt that he didn't want to go to college. And I was like, you know what, ma'am? I'm like, if any kid can come and say that, I probably wouldn't say this, but, like, He's one that don't really need college. Yeah. He had already built up like uh like forty thousand people on IG following his page. Crazy. You know what I mean? Crazy. He had like ten G ten thousand people subbed on his YouTube. Fire. Like that's his career. You know that's what I mean? And and then, and then like he graduated and was making over six figures doing sneaker reselling and vintage Fire. clothes sales. You know what Fire. I mean? But he built. He already knew how to manage, make money, yeah. make money hustle, like and do leverage. e-commerce. So mm-hmm. he knew how to leverage his his network and mm-hmm. like market stuff. So it's like it's working out perfectly for him. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think some people are well older people, right? Because now we're talking about the mm-hmm. people that were talking about us, yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> um, but you know, they come from a time where. We didn't have technology. They didn't have access to these platforms where you could literally sit and stream yourself and make money. Mm-hmm. Like people, I, I'm just learning. I ain't gonna lie. I'm on TikTok a little bit more often now. <laughs> but those flowers and stuff that I see, like that's like some coins and stuff that people were giving um, mm. giving to these streamers and everything. So, so like yeah, you getting paid from TikTok, then you might get paid from Twitch. Like now you got multiple streams of income from mm-hmm. your house, right? Like. Our goal is to make money. Nobody said you had to do it a certain way, right? Like, and if you you making money, you streaming, and you doing podcasts, whatever, and you got money coming in, yeah, college may not be the right route for you because right. you know how to leverage technology to make money, mm-hmm. right? Because that's what everybody's doing nowadays. You leveraging TikTok, Facebook, uh, TikTok market, and everything like that. Affiliate marketing, right? Like people are doing finding all these avenues to make the same amount of money that they're getting paid during the day mm-hmm. from regular day jobs. 
And I don't have a boss and nobody to look up to or answer to. <laughs> and you, get, you can get residuals because yeah. like your content stays up there. It's like right, it's a right. game changer. Yeah, come on. But I think you know, I think like you said to that particular situation, like you know, you don't ever want to encourage not going to college. But if you have a certain work work ethic already about you, like then yeah, you can do whatever you want and go with a trade school or. So whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, it's, yeah, it's all these different paths, and it's like, and it's also too like I feel like some youth is smart enough to know like, oh, mm -hmm. I don't want, I don't want a hundred G's in debt, like, yeah, you know what I mean. That like part. they, they also recognize that's not the move either. Right. You know what I mean? They, or like they know they're not dedicated enough to also take on a hundred thousand dollars in debt plus yeah, potentially not even see it back. Where you know, right after that, so um, yeah. So real quick, little lightning round. Mm -hmm. Um, MP3 versus iPod. An MP3 player versus iPod. Which one are you picking? I'm picking the iPod. Bro. Uh. <laughs> I mean, MP3. I'm gonna say I don't like i. I never liked the iTunes. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. I felt like it always messed up my library. Mm -hmm. But uh -huh. but it's just like cause you can have way more storage on an iPod. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean, MP3s is rocking, bro. Yeah, like, no, you I could had you could have like 128 gig MP3 too. Like I mean. I don't remember those being out. I only had probably like eight to sixteen yeah, gigs to 16, or something yeah, like yeah. that. I used to pass it around school with this had with this hits. guy. Like he used to just like, yo, let me borrow that for third period and all. That. Yeah, MP3 player. Yeah, yeah, back in school and all of that. Like that's hits. how long we um yeah I had all the locks, all the like all the bangers. Like my MP3 player could start a club for real back in the day at that time but you was, um, was renting them joints out you know, third random, period. yeah no for real i'd be like yo i used to be like yo a dollar and a battery bro like it used to be nothing because that used to be the thing by the time i used to get my drink back by the end of the day they yeah. used to be dead battery i ain't yeah. got nothing to go home with yeah, so it. i'm like all right gotta switch the game up a little bit yeah i need like, a battery at least <laughs> yeah, you know what i mean yeah, you got a fresh one well, <laughs> then people started bringing their own battery then it was just a dollar like <laughs> for a period because you know i was like whatever yeah. uh, i ain't need nothing ipod though I iPod with the video screen, you know with what the mean? video screen too, yeah, not yeah. the little, not the the yeah, doll the one. Yeah, not the, it had a video screen and yeah. it had a circle. Oh yeah, you right, you yeah, right, you yeah, right. Yeah, I had that. It's joint. crazy because I, I I was going through my stuff and I have I have an old iPod in the crib. I joined like crazy. a. Uh, I joined 100 and something gigs, man. Heavy. That's wild. Yeah, I joined, yeah it's like my phone. Yep. Yeah. It's frolic. <laughs> or. Word. Them joints was, them joints was serious, though, man. Yeah. I had I had, a, I had one of those. And you know what's also crazy? I don't want to talk too long on this, but it's like when they told us this stuff was happening, like there's going to be TV as flat as paper, or there's going to be music accessible mm -hmm. to you right in the palm of your hand. Like coming up, I never knew or understood how it was going to happen, you know. But now these kids, they get to just see it you know mm -hmm. but then it was just like box tv your, your tv be 40 pounds you know what i mean and cost four g's <laughs> right and that was like uh, three hundred dollars yeah. for yeah, uh, light work. <laughs> Word, you can just carry it right to the car for real. by yourself for like. wicked for real. times out here um and then little other rapid trade versus school since you mentioned it briefly hmm man episode three Psh. Yeah. Yo, self education, neither one. Just Ooh, yo, I like that. Just that yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go ahead and learn what the hell you want. If you if you know you want to learn to trade, go to trade school. If you know you want to go into like medicine, academia, you know, legal, I don't know, certain careers that you need college for, mm -hmm. go that route. Otherwise, go ahead and get that self education though. For 100%. real. You, you know. I love that answer, bro. Yeah. That's that's honestly the best answer I've heard yeah, ever different. for that question. Um, so cool. Uh, we about to wrap it up. Um, I, got just, I, got, I got one. Oh, all right, all right, all right. My bad, my bad. Mm -hmm. my bad. You good? So we spoke about boot up. Yeah, man. And how you uh, basically how you created y'all? You know, y'all was in a meeting space for a couple talking of to months. the mic, bro. Talking to the mic. Yeah, Pause. yeah. So um, talk about the meeting space, and you know, it took you some time to create that. What was the one of the biggest hurdles you had? when you first put this together through the group of people you was with? Um, dang, that's a good question. What was the biggest hurdle? Man, just starting from scratch, bro. Just starting from scratch. Like, mm -hmm. like, um, got to come up with the name, the logo, mm -hmm. like, the graphics, like, get the word out, you know what I mean? Let people know, like, get, get our first contracts, you know, like, get... 
get youth actually coming here, figuring out like what works. Like, you know what I mean? Cause you, you we have an idea like, oh, we could just have, I, I had it one time we did a launch, a soft launch. I had like ages, elementary got to high school all at the same time just open i was like whoever come up like mm-hmm. that's who we working with and then it's like oh okay we got to separate by ages because mm-hmm. they're just everybody's on different vibes like mm-hmm. you know so just just learning on the fly like that was probably the hardest part and um yeah just getting everybody to see the vision and but that's the fun part you know what i mean like that's that's the build yeah it's just yeah. like i actually I actually had fun with all that stuff mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's a different outlook, your perspective, because you had the passion to do it. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. And then, going back to young adults, once you find your passion, it's not gonna come with a dollar sign behind it. I think that's what we gotta teach. You know what I mean. Find what you the money comes. Yeah, the it's money's gonna yeah. come regardless. Money's gonna come, yo. People be tripping mm-hmm. on it. You know what I mean. People be doing dumb stuff, taking penitentiary chances for a little bag. Yeah. Yo, but yo, money's gonna come in if you great at what you do, you passionate about it. I mean, it's easier said, it's easy for me to say it than for no, you you're gonna cry, you're yeah. gonna cry, yeah. you're gonna struggle, you're gonna feel it. Yeah, but is it still worth it? There's, but there's light at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> and that's some yeah. of the things we got to teach them, you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. You might not see that dollar sign like right then and there. And it's funny, you was talking about like you know, creating e commerce. If you know how to create a Shopify site, you could just create Shopify sites for anybody. You don't even need no. Don't even no have to be for your I mean? product. Yeah, you could walk down the block and just be like, "Yo, your business needs an e-commerce platform." Yep. Like, you know what I mean? You already got a clothing store. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Or people well, need so much. You got to be a hustler, yo. Mm-hmm. They need to utilize TikTok. Promote that. Look, facts about making social media pages or uh websites e-commerce like whatever you want talk about it share people show people that you have this knowledge and yeah. then create a uh a ebook or something like that you know that's more money more income like there's more than one way to skin a cat to get this facts, money so facts. you just got to be innovative like nipsey yeah try you not mean. to be lazy otherwise you'll be selling your toenails on some or only fan sign or something, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, yo, you know, <laughs> crazy. Some, <laughs> some people are so lazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah. they'll be yeah. lazy, man. Uh-huh. They'll be lazy. Um, for ten ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Well, hold on, you know, nine ninety nine. What's going on? <laughs> um, so I. I was about to close it, but I do have. I want yeah, to close man. it with like two questions it's though, all good. to end it off the right way. Um, what's next for um, Boot Up? Hmm. Your next thoughts or your next direction, or what do you plan to see it in five years? You can wrap it all into one question mm-hmm, right mm-hmm. there. Um, and then any personal goals that you want to achieve, you know? Yeah, man. All right. Um, for Boot Up, next five years, we're going global. So we hopefully going to have. Five boot up in a few cities in the u.s and then hopefully we'll have definitely like a global um outreach and, con- and connection to hopefully somewhere in um west africa east africa oh, yeah. you know what i mean so that's, up, that's definitely big goals um personal side i mean like man i would like to um you know stack up you know what i mean i want to have maybe like you know Half a milli, you know, mil in the nice. bank, you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I feel like I feel like I could definitely Time is coming. Figure it out, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, yeah. So personal goal probably just get more financial security going mm-hmm. on. Um, but mm-hmm. that's and travel more. I wanna travel more. Yeah. I love traveling. Just travel more the globe. Just keep doing what I'm doing, like elevate, yeah. elevate. You know what I mean? Let's keep it pushing. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up, man. We love what you're doing, man, for the community. Mm-hmm. That you a gem, bro. It's hard to find people like you. Appreciate bro. that, Casey. Jane, one too. No, y'all, y'all brothers, man. Oh, I'm, 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 in, I'm enjoying spending time with y'all, man. We, we definitely a alike, you know, and and align like that. So, mm-hmm. so yeah, I don't want to end this, man. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> no, man. Anytime, anytime. That's I learned you know, a lot. You know what I mean? Yeah, like 100%. just, just from the whole get up. You know, from the time we walked in here into the space. Yo, so. man, we're here for y'all. We're here to support Black entrepreneurs. You know what I mean? So it's not just youth. Like boot up is not just for the youth. It's oh fun. yeah, we're gonna be signing up too. And by the way, this is one of three studios Mm -hmm. um, that um, Emil is helping out with people. Um, This is like the production room, I guess. What would you call the second room? Like a game room and an iPad? Yeah. Like 
just a whole bunch of different resources. Um, and then the third room is uh, just more entertainment for you guys. Um, What's What's up? Up? Yeah, got some youth coming in right, right now. Got some youth you know coming I mean? in right now. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? What's going on? What up, what up? Yeah. Y'all give us a minute. Y'all want to get in and talk to us. How y'all doing? What's your name, man? Xavier. Xavier. All what's right. That's on? what's up, I see man. Me. I see you. I don't know here. What y'all getting into? You say what? They just bored. bored. Yeah, right, we, we probably teach us, you know, come in and get on our show real quick. Say, the, look at which camera. Um, yeah. Come on, they be coming to boot up. Come on in, Xavier. Yeah, S- sit down with us. We about to wrap up. Y'all could have came in earlier, but this is what it's about, man. Word. It's like impromptu, but we still gonna make them a part of the show, man. This is what boot up is about, teaching the young adults. So yeah, this, this is my main man, Xavier. He's a young boy. He's out here. Like he already he know how to do yeah, this. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> that mic might be off. Um, no, nah, we King. got him. Oh, you got yeah. him? You got him? Yeah, you can do it. All right, say less. It's this right there on the side. side. Right here, right here. Yes, sir. My man. Look, he know how to do that better than I did. <laughs> I came in and said, what do what I got to do? Yes, check, sir. Check, check. Yeah, you good, man. So look at this. I, this is come crazy, full circle, right, yeah. bro. Full circle moment. <laughs> for us. So Xavier, right? Tell us about yourself, man, and um, what you what you want to do and why you decided to join Boot Up? Because I wanted to make my own stuff. Stuff like what? Like albums and YouTube videos. Okay, yeah. okay. So, so you're a YouTuber? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. What kind of content you make? Just compilations of other videos on social media. Nice. Okay, that's a start, man. Look, segue right into it. You right? already know, we man. We were just talking about that. Nah, Xavier, he definitely be making a lot of content, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you say, be rapping, he's doing a lot of stuff, so. You got a 16 for us? Mm? You got a 16 for us? What is 16? Uh, well, geez, first, oh, we you old. <laughs> 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 you say you you in the music. You got a 16. No, you, you, being trying to encourage cursing, though, you could do something without curses, right? Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. Shoot. Go, yeah, ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No. Nah. He's, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, not today. Smart man. Smart he was man. like, I ain't cut no you check plug, for me. You want to plug, <laughs> plug your YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah. Drop your YouTube. Uh, Xavier on Adams. Okay. X Z V I A O N. But there was actually uh, another letter in there, but I forgot. Okay. All right. Well, when you figure that out, we still gonna tag yeah, you at the end of the video. I got you sure. a post production tip. So if you could just text me that, um, Emil, and I'm gonna I'm put Xavier in there. Like I love this. Like this, this is a moment right now. We're having out. Like we really trying to reach out to the young adults and let them know it's more to this, you know, than the streets. And Emil. Thank this you, is, man. Uh, it's been a pleasure, bro. Come on, yeah, man. It's been a pleasure, bro. Doing what it do. Appreciate um, y'all, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we cut it, um, and I just want to say, it is possible for Boston and New York to connect. Yeah. <laughs> straight up, straight up. Straight Regardless up. of the Yankee fans you know and the Boston I mean? Red Sox like, fans, <laughs> all the rivalries, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got a lot in common. We yeah, got a lot yeah, in common. Yeah. You know, I thought y'all would like that one. Um, yeah. But yeah. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we got a lot of love for Harlem, you know what I mean? No, 100%. You know? We got love for Boston. Right. I, mean, I, only, I lived out there in Ashby, Massachusetts. for Ashby? Like, you already know. Oh, Ashby. Because it's all the way north. Yeah, all the way yeah, north, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, New I, Hampshire. I thought everything. you were about to say Ashmont. Yeah, nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, nah, I wasn't over there. Yeah. But um, we used to travel down to Boston um, occasionally. Good school, it closed down, but it was an expedition based school. Again, okay. a school that was exposing young adults to just like the world for real. We used to, it was an addition, expedition based school, meaning it was a travel based school. So um, if we wanted to learn about culture, we'd go to New York. If we wanted to learn about um, uh, Mexican culture, we would go to Mexico. That's dope. Like that. Yeah, so learned a lot from that, man, but again, right. got a lot of exposure then. So um, on another note, um, what a great episode, man. Right. Um, so Emil helps out kids and adults. Um, apparently, the adult class is on Friday. I'll be here. Right. Um, you know, you might see us moving forward in this setup, you know, because everything went well. Mm-hmm. Um, you might see us behind a green screen. Just, you already right, know. Yeah, you already know. We, we might be we about space, to you don't even know. make... We about to work. Yeah, we about things to is work. things is big things is happening. Having a year. Yeah, this is just day one. And yo, again, thank you, Emil, for holding us down Appreciate today, y'all, bro. Man. Uh, it's the best setup I've ever been in. Like I said. Um, and so on that note, any last thoughts? Anything you got? 
Man, yo, let's do it, people. Come on, let's be better, man. You know what I mean? Sisters, brothers, everybody, let's be great, man. Let's Word. let's shape this culture and this content the way that we need to be, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Right. For the next so, generation, man. Let's do it. Straight this up. That's all it's about. Mm-hmm. Word up. 100%, man. So I'm K. I'm Chaz. And our special guest today is Emil. You already know Mr. Boot Up. Cook. You already know, Mr. Boot Up. Strap your boots up. Not your Tim's, though, but Word. Boot Up. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, Culture Content, another episode. We out of here, baby. Wow. Oh, Bang. Hold on. Real quick, tell us where we can find you. Oh, oh yeah, man. Yeah, you can fault. find me on um, all social media. It's just at Emil, A M I L, last name's Cook, C O O K. And then you can check out Boot Up as uh, Boot Up, P G H dot com. B O O T U P P G H dot com. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, we sir. We out of here. You already know. Bye.